Bye. Well, we're starting with a nice, thick magazine. Hi, it's Beverly Cole and I'm in my studio. I watched a video and saw someone do this and I thought, well, I have a lot of these magazines and they're gorgeous. And I've had them in my bookshelf for so long. I said, you know, I need to do this and put them to use. So I did, I cut them apart, as you can see here. I used a straight edge and a craft knife. Actually, uh, well, let me show you. I used one of these. These are like 69 cents at Harbor Freight. And they have the blade that you can break off and make it sharp again and metal ruler and got it cut. I worked from both sides and of course it's thicker here and harder to cut through. But after I did that, I sanded it with a nail file. Let me show you that. I use these and they're washable and they're, they're fun to use actually. I enjoyed doing this, it was really fun. Once I cut it apart, the magazine took on a different life. Everything seemed to be magnified, more interesting to me. The back of this one is so cool. When I do the back, I'll just use part of that as the design, most likely. And this top one, everything jumps out at you. It even has some designer papers in it that I never took out. So those are there for backgrounds. So what I'm going to do today is continue to work in this one. Yesterday, I met with Carleen, again at my house, and I covered this with strips of magazine. I kept it in the natural colors. I just like that. And then I put a couple of strips of washi tape here and covered it with gloss medium. As I was working, gluing these all on, I had them sticking out at the top and the bottom and I opened it up and I just took the flaps and I said to Carly, look, and she said, go for it. So I did. I folded them in and put that same gloss medium on there. And you can still see a little bit of the page through it, but that's okay. It looks pretty good to me. I turned the book over and now we have the back. I didn't even know that I was making fodder, collage fodder. I had never heard of it. Maybe I'm a little late to the party. I know now that this is considered fodder. What is fodder for making food for collage? And look at that. Just look at that. That's so great. But I just want to get rid of this hand over here too. Hmm. Mm, let's just try. Hmm. Okay, um, I'm going to cut this. Yeah, I don't want this to stand out as two different things. I want it to look like all one. And this is the back covery number. Ooh, I kind of like the blue down there. Maybe we'll put blue down here too. Mm, let's try that. It's the very bottom. All right, so I'm gonna bend these. I wanna cut them. I gotta cut a little more. And then we'll add this. Or should I go this way? Yeah, I think so. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Magazine collage fodder. Total new animal for me. Didn't even know I was making it. <laughs> my desk is getting a little messy, but that's okay. So this is the back of my cover. I didn't realize I was making fodder. Fodder is actually the word fodder is defined as food for animals that you make. So we're making food for our collages. I made some fodder flowers. So I want to add them to this. They're kind of cute and some leaves. So I think what I'm going to do with those is just go ahead and use gel medium to attach them. But before I do that, I like all these white marks designs on these mushrooms that are actually part of the cover already. I'm gonna make some watery white paint and I'm going to spatter my fodder. Do my book, thin out my paint. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a little bit orange and I do have orange on here. I might add that one there. I 
I like the way it looks like they're flying through the air. Hmm. Not sure about the orange one. Yeah. So cute. So I will come back and attach those when they dry.